Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and in today's episode we will be constructing the Minmus Orbital Surveyor. Look at all these wonderful experiments that we need to put on. So yes this is a, I guess a final piece of science grind that we need to do before we actually get our you know Duna craft done and get them into the orbit. So another Minmus mission but Surveyor look at how many experiments we need to do. Materials study, mystery goo, irradiance scan, radio plasma wave scan, soil moisture, and recon scan. I'm actually, guys, thinking I'm gonna ditch the recon scan because the part for it is just huge. So I'm actually constructing a vessel that can do all of these experiments except the recon scan. So we need to return at least five of the experiments, and we have a total of six on the list. So I think well, it it will be good without the last one. So, we also have, you know, establish a stable orbit, which is a sort of like, you know, probe type contract, and this will, will, will be a probe, so this we will fulfill along the way and get some additional cash. We need really the cash, the reason why, uh, the sole reason why I'm grinding out these contracts is because I'm needing the cash to upgrade the research facility so that we can finally start researching the parts that cost 500 science or more. Yes, that's the reason for doing these kind of things, and I know I promise that we will be out of the Minmus, however, this is one of the things which you need to do when you're playing career. My preference is playing, you know, the science game, because that doesn't restrict me in terms of funds, but I thought the career would be fun. Let me know if you're enjoying the career as well, I mean, it is interesting, it is challenging, and uh, it does force me to do the things that I w otherwise wouldn't do. So, and I think it's a good thing. So, this is actually the return stage that I'm building. So this one will be returning back to Kerbin. And I think it will be great once it actually finishes its mission. And I'm placing a small, you know, Dinky engine below. Well, okay, let's see. Okay, that's enough, but I, I need actually a little bit more oomph. I need it to have a little bit more oomph because I need it to return to curb, and so I don't really want to have... Okay, shall we put a different tank? I'm just now looking... Yeah, 1080. Should I do two tanks? Maybe I should do two tanks. 1800, okay. I'm happy with that, because this will never be a lander, it will never land, it will just go around Minmus, it will orbit around Minmus and then it will return back to Kerbin, so I think it will be fine. Let's see, now, I'm gonna put the thrust plate because I really want to have a decent fairing, without it the fairing would just look hideous, so I actually I'm gonna be placing, uh, let's see, like this, see, now it's really nice this is also guys a tip if you really want the fairing size to be in line with the rest you have to put the engine plate i didn't know this before and thank you for some of the forum users that have put a comment and i really appreciate it though so let's put this everything into the fairing there we go clamshell deploy yes there we go this is this is good enough and then let's just build some more of the first stage that will actually get this thing into orbit to a degree of course so um yeah let's see i'm just trying to find a decent place okay like this is this good enough we're gonna test it out okay fair enough and then do we have an engine yes we do actually this is a this is a little bit low on the delta v but let's just add these two engines here and see how it fares maybe i will want to add one more extra tank so hold on this actually looked hideous okay this looks much better though however i'm still a little bit bothered by this low Delta V. Okay, and I'm actually I'm having some troubles, guys, with my mouse double clicking on me when it doesn't when I don't want to. So I am a little bit struggling with that, but hopefully it will be fine. Let's see. Arranging this is a total of 5.5 thousand meters per second. I'm actually thinking of adding one more tank above. Would that be decent? 6.0. 054 okay that looks good enough thrust to weight is a little bit on the lower ish as inside but i think it will be fine so 
just auto strutting everything and then I need to find the correct, you know, oh yes, the SAS needs to be put in there as well. Otherwise, uh, I don't think the small one will actually account for anything. It, otherwise, we're gonna get really flippy. Putting some extra fins on there and I, oh boy, I need to again put the fuel ducts. Come on. Come on, damn you. Yeah, double clicking is really get to me, getting to me. All right. All right, that looks good enough in my book. So just additional two winglets that will actually help steer the craft at pointed, you know, prograde. There we go, look, much better. All right. All right, three, two, one, go, 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 go. Look at the rocket goes. It shoots off like a rocket, literally. All right. Angling it a little bit more prograde. We are at 1.8 uh, thrust to weight, which is decent enough. And I want to keep it around that level. Let's get rid of the boosters and then igniting the engine to the max. It is very low on thrust to weight at this point. However, we are still picking up speed and that's a good thing, meaning we will go to orbit. I was slightly concerned before, but no longer. I'm no longer concerned. 1.2, that only means that we are not accelerating as fast as we possibly could, but it's, as you can see, the speed is quickly being picked up, so it's not really that big of a deal. Right, so, I mean, the launch and everything goes pretty smoothly here. By now, we are already well-versed in terms of launching smaller craft to Minmus and Moon and uh, all that jazz, so let's see if we manage to get this one nice and tight into 100 kilometer orbit, followed by a very nice transfer to Minmus. All right, the apoapsis is climbing slowly but surely. We are gonna get to that 100 kilometer orbit and then we're gonna be performing the circularization burn. Right, so what some of you are asking me, is this like filler content that we get to do now? The answer is both yes and no. Um, normally I would do missions one off, meaning when I build a craft I would go to Duna and return back and everything that jazz. However, since I'm playing with both Kerbalism and uh, Kerbal Construction Time, those don't allow me to actually do those kind of missions, otherwise a lot of time will be passed and the gameplay would be shattered. So they require me to take a more, you know, realistic approach meaning that while some ships are on route, we are building new ships and we just have to accept it. Look at that clumsy fairing separation and there we go, solar panels, antenna, and then we shall be performing the circularization burn in 35 seconds. There we go, Minmus, oh, all right, we are prepared. We can actually maybe even start the site experiment all right, getting ready for the burn. Three, two, one, and burn. 700 meters per second to burn, which is more than enough for the first stage. So the first stage will be also used to fix our orbital inclination and also get us uh, kicked off towards Minmus. So there we go. I think that's good enough. We don't need to, you know, perfectly tune it. So. There we go, and let's select Minmus, and once we select Minmus, we will be performing the burn, ejection burn after we fix the inclination. And through the magic of editing, I've just cut that part out, because you've seen me done this over 20 times, really no point of doing it again. Kicking off the next stage, and look, now our actual ship looks like a real transfer stage, doesn't it? Beautiful. All right. So after we circularize, we will be doing our transfer to Minmus only to start surveying what we have there. So, all right, there we go. Small correction just to get our Minmus periapsis nice and low enough. Beautiful, thank you. So 142, I think that's good enough. We don't really need to have it perfectly aligned. So yeah, overall I'm good. There we go, let's exp now enjoy the beautiful transfer to Minmus. Hello, goodbye Kerbin.
Look at it go. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, there's Moon. Bye, Moon. And we are off to Minmus. Yes, there is the Minmus. And let us go there. And we are already ready for the orbital insertion burn. So, getting ready slowly but surely. All right. And let's do the burn. We have it coming in 40 seconds. And we have to obviously return the ship from orbit now that I'm looking at the contracts. I was wondering why that one hasn't completed, because we have to return it from orbit. Well, we will return it from orbit once we are actually done with all the experiments. So, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit while. Well, what can you tell? All right. So, that thing being said, we can actually start doing our experiments. So, yeah, here we go. Let's check. Now, material study, hit it. Mystery goo, hit it. These two will be done quickly. However, some others like uh, Iradian scan, RPWS, those take actually a while with Kerbalism. So, yeah, it's going to drag on a little bit until we're done with all those experiments and return to Kerbin. So as you can tell, radio plasma wave scan actually takes uh, 29 days, which would collide with our Duna Comnet deployer coming into the Duna sphere of influence. So I'm actually going to accelerate time a little bit just to get close to that window, but I'm probably going to need and switch in the next episode to actually perform. However, the Iridian scan has unmet requirement because it is... Um, it's currently the angle is not where it should be. However, it will be going on and off until we get, you know, it'll probably take 21 days and we are all in good position, but we need to be at the correct angle relative to the sun. So it will be going on and off, meaning that the experiments will take even longer. All right, I'm game. Uh, so let us just quickly see if we can see materials Mystery Goo is done and sent. But however, we need to actually return or, or transmit data. So yeah, there we go. That will happen eventually. There we go. Running the light, running, running the site. Gathering all that important science from the orbit around Minmus. So, Iradian scan, we're we'll just gonna place it here and we'll see how quickly does it go. Will we actually get even a chance that we run it? See, Iradian scan running, but it will take 20 days and it goes on and off after we actually get out of the sun's angle. Meaning, yeah, it's gonna take a long time. Well, no matter. At least we'll harvest some science. We will send that science back to Kerbin and once we are done, we're gonna have more science to do so. See? Site. 12.5 science acquired. Great. And we are again again on the unmet requirements. So for the irradiant scan. Alright, so with that thing being said, I think it's time we wrap it up for this episode. Guys, you know what to do. Like if you like the episode, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off.